QR codes, QR codes, QR codes, QR codes, QR codes. Let's learn QR codes. Let's dig right into it. We're going to go right over here. Okay. You're going to type in QR code 3D print. Okay. QR code 3D print. This second one that comes right here, printer.tools. Let's go over here. And it's pretty simple over here, right? Now here you can do text slash URL. Okay, you have a website, it'll take you to a website. Over here, you can do the Wi-Fi. So I done an Etsy order for somebody that was uh, running the Airbnb. And so I made it like a house shape and I said, scan here for Wi-Fi. Then I put the QR code there. So if you scan it, it logs you into the Wi-Fi. Okay, email, self-explanatory, sends an email to whatever, whatever. Contacts, okay, that that's self-explanatory too, contacts. And then the SMS, I haven't tried this one, but I'm guessing it sends a message to somebody okay so but we're gonna do this real quick i have my etsy link right here so we're gonna put our etsy link in here all right now let's go down to the options all right we got rounded rectangle or regular rectangle okay 100 millimeter three millimeter depth for the whole base uh corner radius is five border uh, border width and all that if you want to text around it if you want a keychain hole around it if you want to add a slot for the nfc reader uh, QR code the depth I usually like 1.5 millimeter right there uh, margins five sure block size okay icon we can put in I don't know maybe like a thumbs up looking thing okay perfect icon size and then QR city I re haven't really messed with this setting here but we'll see what this looks like so hit the generate your 3d model and then once you generate that boom right there now if you took your phone and you actually went to the camera app and you scanned it then you will see that it will take you right to my etsy perfect now you can save it just like this if that's the purpose of your print or we'll explore a few more options right so let's try a keychain hole okay to the left six millimeter diameter sure we'll generate that and we'll see what that looks like all right now once that gets loaded up we'll see okay look that's pretty cool pretty cool looking okay all right so that's a border right now if you don't want a border uncheck the border generate 3d model and it'll take away the border uh for this purpose i think we'll keep the border on there uh but i just want to show you guys what it looks like without the border right there actually without the border it doesn't look bad either okay so i'll show you how we do this all right so stl file separate the parts if you hit yes it will separate the base the qr code and the icon into three different files okay uh, i don't want to separate it right now so let's just save it and as soon as it gets saved uh combined okay yeah that's fine we'll do that now let's go to our bamboo studio Create a new project, bring in combined SDL that is saved. All right, look at that, right? Now, let's go to objects and we'll make this whole thing white. And oops, oops, there you go. We'll make the whole things white, okay? Now, click on it, go to the color option right there. Now, let's go down and we're gonna pick black and we're gonna do height range. And remember, we had set it to 1.5 millimeter, right? Oops. Uh, we had set it to 1.5 millimeter. So let's see if we can get this right. We're going to do... Oops. Too much. Maybe... Maybe... Right... There? Okay. Look at that. That looks pretty cool. All right. I think that might be it. But it looks pretty cool, right? Okay. Now, I don't know why this is fixed model, but we'll try to fix the model, but we'll have to color it again, and we'll see what it looks like if it's still able to detect the colors. Okay, so let me color this one more time. If it's still able to detect the QR code, I mean, sorry. All right, boom, right there. All right, now let me try this again on my phone. Now, the beauty about the whole QR code thing is that it's all, you know, you can test it all out on the phone before you actually have to print it, okay? So that's pretty much it. Now, if you were to slice the plate, it's pretty simple. Two colors, nothing to it. One hour, four minute for that size right there. It's gonna print three millimeters of base. And then after the three millimeters of base, it's gonna start doing the QR code. Okay, now that's pretty simple. Now, 
If that's all you wanted to know how to do, then perfect. That's it. Hit the like and subscribe button. Get out of here. You're done. You don't have to listen to my ugly voice anymore, okay? But let's do a few more things. Let's say if you wanted your name on it, right? And then you wanted a QR code or something on the side. So let's see if we can try to make it because I haven't made one either. And I'm kind of curious too. Uh, let's make a credit card size um, QR code reader that has my name that we can put in our wallet. And we'll see how that goes, right? All right, so first thing we'll do is we'll see how um, a credit card, credit card dimensions, right? Credit card dimensions. All right, uh, here, let's look at this guy here. So we have 85.6 millimeter, 53.98, and corner radius is 0.125. Uh, how thick it is, though? How thick is it? Okay, we'll figure out how thick it is. Now, let's go to Fusion real quick. Uh, what I want to do is I want to put uh, 3D Print King on one side and maybe scan here with an arrow. I don't know. And then... Um, Maybe, I don't know. We'll see what we're gonna do. But let's get the credit card size in there first, and then we can start um, messing around with some of the stuff. All right, so here we are. Let's create a new sketch. Flat plane right there. And we have the size is 85.6 by 53.98. So 54 by 86, 54 by 86. We'll keep it easy, right? Create a rectangle, so 54. Oh, no, that was 86. So 86 by 54. Okay, so that's supposed to be size of the credit card, right? Now, the corner radius was 0.125, I think. Uh, 0.125, yeah. So let's do the corner radius 0.125. That can't be right. Uh, 3.18 millimeters, because we're working in millimeters. So 3.18 millimeters, 3.18. That is the corner radius. Click this one. Click this guy and click this guy. All right, perfect. We'll hit enter on that. Now, let's see how thick is a credit card. Credit card uh, thickness. Let's do thickness. And I want to see if we can actually pull this off. 0.76 millimeter thick. 0.76. That means uh, every layer is 0.2 millimeter thick. So that means we can probably get away with 0.8. Two layers of base, two layers of height on the QR code and everything. And we'll try that and see if that works. Okay. So we'll do... do, 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 do. What are we going to do? So I'm going to leave this spot here for the QR code, I think. And then I'm going to put 3D Print King over here. All right. Let's try this out. Uh, let's do that. Okay. Uh, 3D... Print king, I guess. And let's make this five. No, seven. Um, eight. Sure. All right, center it up. Center it up. All right. And we'll pick a good looking font. Ooh, not that. Uh, two, 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 two. Nope. Blender. Okay, let's just go with Blender for the sake of the video. All right. I mean, obviously, I would do more things to it if I really sit down and start designing it. But I want to kind of get do this one quick. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click the text and I'm going to do explode text. Okay. And it does not do that. Perfect. So now I get to show you the other way of how to do this. Okay. So delete the text. Go to Google. Type in Google fonts to SVG. All right. And we'll do, since I want to do up and down, I'm going to do one by one, right? So I'm going to do 3D and pick a, pick a good looking font here. I don't know. We'll just do this guy, whatever this guy is. Okay. Download. And we're going to say that's 3D, right? And then I want to do print and download. And then I want to do K and G and download. Okay. So now we got three files over there. Let's go to insert SVG. And let's go to, where's my video folder? Video folder, QR, right here. So 3D, first thing. All right, we'll bring that guy here. Um, would this big be okay? I don't know. We'll do maybe that big. Okay. 3D, hit enter, insert again, SVG. Go to print. And we'll bring this guy here. And we'll do like that. Enter. 
then we'll do another one and bring in the kng okay and now like i say you can do whatever you want on here scan here this and that you got time put that little arrows taken to the qr code and all that right all right so we got 3d print king here uh we're gonna make it 0.8 thickness right so 0.8 so base is gonna be 0.4 got it all right so here's what we're gonna do you're gonna hit e for extrude highlight the whole thing do negative 0.4 okay because i want the base to be 0.4 millimeters do negative because you want it behind the sketch so we can still work on that 3d print sketch on the front okay so new component and okay now let's go to the sketch and bring that back all right now let's pick this guy hit e this guy this 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 we'll do 0.4 millimeters and we'll do new component okay now let's see what we got now this is looking like a little credit card size right here okay so that is a credit card size all right let's export it and take it to bamboo and see what it looks like export and 3d qr let me just do 3d qr whatever and i do step file and 3d printing etsy sure okay now let's go to bamboo over here let's prepare cut that out bring a new model in and let's do 3d qr step that we downloaded okay so that is our credit card looking size so let's change it all to white and then we're gonna bring in the qr code all right here's how we're gonna do this we're gonna go back to the the qr code generator all right i'm gonna take out the keyhole my depth of the base was 0.4 millimeters so i'm gonna make 0.4 millimeter right there and my qr code my lettering is 0.4 millimeters two layers right so i'm gonna make the qr code the same one so 0 0.4 0 0.4 right there um i don't want a border okay we don't have a border there i took off the key tag let's generate the 3d model and let's see what it comes out looking like okay so that's it right there 0.4 and 0.4 okay uh, i'm not worried about separating the parts right now we'll just hit save as stl and i'm gonna name this uh credit card size credit card size okay go back here now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna bring in another model and credit card size right here obviously it's way too big okay we'll resize it so we'll put we'll make the whole thing white and let's resize this thing okay so this is 0.8 uh millimeters so we're going to keep the 0.8 but here's how we're going to do this let me just resize this real quick to the size that i want so that's pretty much going to be right there okay now i'm going to uncheck the uniform and i'm going to go back to 0.8 okay that's going to bring my size back to 0.8 okay so let's do the color real quick let me do okay we can do the color separate but here's how you assemble this okay so if you go here and you put it right there you got to click the 3d qr or step file and then you got to click the credit card okay right click and do assemble once you do assemble it turns it into one piece okay now let's color this thing right here and we had 0.8 no 0.4 0.4 and it's black and we got the height right there all right let's see if we can pick this out and do it nice and evenly uh where is it right here oops nope not there okay i think i got it oh crap i made it sideways okay let's go undo undo and undo okay let me turn that back around right here okay now i can click this and this assemble go back to coloring it and let me try to get this straight again okay uh let me see if i can do this real quick okay now let's slice it up and see if we got the coloring right on this one All right, you see how some of the QR code is not coming in correctly? And I'll show you a way to fix that. And let's go to prepare. Go back to global. 
and go down to the wall generator, pick the other guy, and let's change this minimum wall width to 15%. Okay, now slice it. Now, let's take the seams away and let's see if it's actually gonna print our thing. I'm gonna give it a test and I'm gonna see if my phone is able to pick this out. And sure shit, it still picks it out. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, print this and see what it comes out looking like. Now remember one thing, the wall generator, I learned this when my prints are like way too small and they're tiny and um, I needed to kind of bring in those fine details, then I'll click the wall generator, I'll change that and I'll do the minimum wall with 15%. And I've messed around with different settings to see what comes out right. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna go ahead and print this and see what it comes out looking like and um, if you can scan it or not and then I'll show you guys, all right? And here we go, holy S, I cannot believe that it worked. It actually worked. I mean, it's the size of a credit card, so obviously it's gonna be flimsy, but you can make it any size that you want. But I actually wanted to try the actual credit card size out. And I've never tried the this size before, but it worked out pretty damn cool. And I'm glad I got to do it because in the beginning of the video, I did not have this in my mind, but you know, I'm glad I did it. Um, now, obviously you can make it as thick as you want, as big as you want, whatever you want to do with it. One thing that I've learned is, you know, doing this QR codes, don't do it flat. You know, our bamboos are capable of doing some crazy crap. Um, I don't print it upside down because printing all these little dots and stuff, you know, on the plate, it gets all messed up. Uh, it's always good to have some kind of base and then raise the QR code up a little bit. Um, so there it is guys. Um, if you guys like the video hit the like and subscribe button Let me know what else you guys want to see and I'll try to come up with more tutorials. I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much